Greetings everyone, Adrian here, another Red Alert 3 replay. It's falling as a 3v3, I'm not really from this map, I think it's bottom versus top. As the red allies player, we have you know spawn as ally as the Scion Empire. We have Bashley spawning as the purple magenta allies. We have uh, Doc, I, Mick. Probably definitely butchering that. As the green allies, we have other Don. As a Soviet, we have of course yellow Soviets always Demon. And I think as our ally, we have is the Orange Empire Rear Zad Army 123. Based on seeing how all the infantry is going down bottom, we got bears and dogs. Nice, nice. He didn't even have to use his roar right there, which means he can ready to engage another uh, dog. Engineer trying to push his way forward. Engineer cannot one shot a dog. That engineer seems off. Oh, that's a uh, not the combat engineer, but that's the. US engine, the allied engineer, getting them both roared right there. Didn't look like it, but that old guy was roared. Let's roar this guy, so we do have some conscripts inside this building. Let's try to do a bonsai char, but he's streaming some infantry here. Green is also streaming some peacekeepers as well. Looks like team top side will claim both of these oil derricks, or at least provide the garrison of this one here. These garrisons here are one each. I think these ones are three. We got a whole mass of infantry coming out over here. Bonsai charge. Still trying to clear out the garrison. These are favorable engagements for the conscripts because conscripts are cheaper than Imperial Warriors. By what? Imperial Warriors are 50% more expensive. I think conscripts are 100 and Imperial Warriors are 150. So 50% more or 33, no, 33% more or 50% less. No, no. 30% less, 50% more. We got dogs and a huge swell of peacekeepers, red peacekeepers, magenta peacekeepers, and a handful of green warriors. We do got a riptide here, so we've got some anti infantry support. And he's starting to cut off reinforcements right here. Very nice. So Magenta is now cut off from reinforcing the center sector. It's going to be pursuing these peacekeepers here. They've got this huge swell of infantry still here of Magenta and Red. Pure Warriors could go forward after the as the engagement starts going and start doing bonds of charge here. But we do got a huge swell of them. orange Pure Warriors and yellow conscripts. And it looks like Yellow has claimed the Central Oro Derrick. Very nice. We've got a Yellow Sentry Gun. Nothing at the refining location. A lot of infrastructure everywhere. It's sort of hard to cover everything, including the Sentry Guns here. There's a Yellow has pulled out multiple Sentry Guns. Javelins, Peacekeepers are making their advance. We've got a couple of multi kind of IFVs. Could perhaps blow them up with some Peacekeepers, but we've got some Vindicators. Vindicator does get two Javelins, but does go down in return. We've got a red IFV armed with a Peacekeeper. And, ooh, that Terror Drone does uh, snag the Tsunami Tank. Green still has a sizable force here, but getting a little bit cleaned up and overwhelmed by multiple players. Using the Deflectors needs to rush towards... And there's no air fuel for your repairs. And Green has multiple of his own IFEs here loaded with uh, peacekeepers. Looks like this nano. This uh, terror drone will kill off that tsunami tank. Down south, we do got a mecha tengu harassment. Nano deflectors being activated, trying to charge these guys down. Getting a couple of these guys right there. It does get a couple crushes as well. Over here, we've got repairs on these multi-gunner IVs, including a Chopper VX. Looks like this may be an uh, infantry insertion, but maybe not. It's actually a garrison down here near some uh, natural hot springs, which those look like they're actually the boiling kind.
There's a refining location down south here as well. We've got two chopper VXs. We've seen a lot of fire from uh, Apollo. One does go down, and Apollo does escape on out of there. We do have this construction yard pushing its way forward. We do got the IFVs, peacekeepers, conscripts, bears. Not a whole lot from uh, Orange. We need to do down zone building. Perhaps we should eye this uh, one man garrison there rather than the garrison that his guys are currently are in. We got a handful of orange forces here now. Looks like uh, Team Northside does have a commanding position. We do got a couple of wave force artillery. They're still alive, but may pass them off a free gun to the hammerheads. This hammerhead needs to immediately get off. Oh, but gets shot there. Honorable discharge coming on in. So we do got a tier three empire. But now Pashman pushes his way forward. We could easily see some super weapons based on this huge stalemate in the center of the map. Oh, as I was saying, actually, Scion has deployed out a psionic decimator since he also has tier three out. Uh, this level one crowd shot. Does use cash pound here. Does not get either of those, uh, what's it called, vindicators. Does leash down one of these multi-con turrets. Mix of infantry everywhere as well. We got two King Oni, two uh, Wave Force artillery. And a bunch of streaks coming on down. That's enough uh, cryo to shriek all those tier 3 tech. We got another cryo bush shot coming on in. Does freeze a handful of infantry. Sort of hard to micro and void those cryo shots. Another one. So both the southern players' cryo shots have been used, and the northern players as well. One the way force artillery was claimed. He does turn off the gun on all of them. And we've got some uh, javelins pushing forward. These hammerheads need to fall back, especially the one with the wave force artillery. Crowd chopper does go down. Damage forces all, all across the line. Maybe this may sound crazy, but a sentry gun. Push the MCV forward. One person can push the MCV forward, and the other players can put uh, defenses though that does not include the Empire player. And the uh, Soviet player has to take time to build structures. And eh, that's not a really good idea. If the Allied player wants to do it, he's probably going to have to build a second MCV. Wave Force Artillery obliterates the uh, garrison. And we will now be taking time to clear out all the infantry. Does use the uh, snare there from the Terra drones. Very nice. But the terror, nope, is managed to get the uh, shot off on the wave force artillery while snared. We got multiple siphons of shots being utilized. The wave force artillery one, I don't see it. We've got a fresh one there. Cryo shot them right there, snagging a handful of uh, good infantry. One the wave force artillery goes down to the capture of wave force artillery and is at elite. If he gets one below the buttress, he gets the fully heroic. One of the key only guns has been claimed by the struggle, but also really when it goes down to a javelin troop. These uh, javelins are getting some good damage in. Another cryo shot coming forward, but that's far the team south, so that's a pretty big waste. And now we've got a fully heroic wave force hammerhead. And this is going to get cleaned on up right there. Does fire a shot there, not sure what. Wave Force Artillery frozen right there does get claimed by the veteran Hammerhead. Magenta coming in for some artillery and javelins. Javelins could. Uh, it's near the ground, they probably would have got crushed right there. Getting some nice picks there. Bears do claim a javelin right there. And the heroic one will manage to stay alive, get some free healing. Lots of cryocopters pushing on way forward, but 
and we do got Natasha here. The Natasha's going to be good for help breaking the stalemate and hitting all these infantry units. Start sniping his Athena cannon. There's also a prison tank here. Scion's wave, uh, Scion of Destiny is almost available. We should be able to crush this army. Team South just needs to wait. Even though they've been defense this entire game, they just need to wait. Green has expanded up the Northern Expansion. It has quite a bit of infrastructure. Tier 2 looks like it's going to pass to buy out some aircraft carrier. I'm guessing. Multiple wave force artillery and can only a heavy tech army. Oh, and that uh, oil derrick kills off all the infantry, including the Tesla troopers. Here comes uh, Natasha inside the garrison. She does get, get the garrison and stops the bombing run. That'd be interesting putting Natasha in there. If it wasn't for the wave force artillery, she would have picked able to pick up some good troops. Cryo blast have been activated over here at level 2 1. The Empire infantry does get to crushed. On the left side, we've got Shogun battleships now hitting from the sea. No defenses here. Magenta is going to push forward with the army. Has a couple of prison tanks and Mithenas for to support. Sonic Decimator is almost ready down to his last two seconds. Natasha may be inside this building. We do got some V4s with wide dispersal rockets. Oh, and here comes the scientist decimator. Does get a good amount of infantry. Takes out all the cryocopters. The center has been cracked now. We've got a heavy tier army pushing away the center. Yellow has deployed out Iron Curtain, but is just on cooldown. Direct hit there onto the uh, units. They're all severely wounded. Green's pushing the board. We do got a a spy here. That spy could be deadly. Hamp Apocalypse tanks push on way forward, but does go out down to a uh, charge. He needs to disguise himself as one of those. Uh, he's but no, he loses a spy. We got Kirov now charging on in, getting a number of kills. King is still being called max. Hold by prison tanks. There's a, now a fully heroic prison tank. But now we do got a Kirov advancing, getting some self repairs. Do not test me. He needs to start hitting these King Oni with the uh, Kirovs. Maybe hit these prison tanks. Sort of hard to hit stuff with the uh, Kirovs. Get some good bomb runs there. Takes out one of the King Onis and soaks up a lot of damage and distracts and holds off the enemy for the time being. Apocalypse Tanks rushing forward, but Apocalypse Tanks and Kirov goes down. If he gets pulls out another spy, that would be great. No, he's going for a uh, armored facility. Perhaps he can get out some Athena. Uh, chopper VX is now up in the air. So where is that Iron Curtain located at? We got another Kirov. Cryo Blast come forward. Freezing good numbers of the infantry. That's most of the anti air in the area as well. Chopper VXs do land on the ground. Wave Force Artillery does go down to the Kirov. Maybe use a quick charge, get a couple more bombs off. Does lay down one more bomb, and here comes the corpse. The corpse does destroy out one of the Athena cannons as well. No spies, just javelins. I am hoping for he may not be able to pull a spy. He has tier one. Oh, something I had not been paying attention to is all the naval engagements. Looks like the shoguns got cleaned up, but we do got some uh, Naga, Naga, Kanana, Naga, 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 Naga uh, cruisers support, now going to be supporting these green aircraft carriers. Hitting the infrastructure, the MCV's almost down, and there's no anti aircraft except for a single hydrofoil. Fully heroic. Maybe being shrunk down will help him escape all those rockets. There goes the aircraft carriers. This army is still on a war path. Nothing left on the ground to uh, hold it back. But we do got an iron curtain. It's 14 seconds remain, but just low on power. It's right there. Oh. And that's the end of the game. Looks like Team Northside has surrendered.
Or was that a complete bugged out game? Well, I will conclude the replay. This is Ajon saying thank you for watching and signing off.